two. Hi, everybody. I'm here in Congresswoman Deb Holland's office from New Mexico. Thank you so much for being here with My us. My pleasure. Happy to be here. And we are here announcing the 2020 National Unity Conference. And she knows a little bit about it. I have said a lot of good things about all the youth coming out here. So what I'm here doing with Congresswoman Holland is asking her for some tips that would benefit you. And one of those questions is, how might one arrange a meeting with a member of Congress? Well, you need to know who your member of Congress is. So uh, you can probably go online and find that out on the house.gov website. You can put in, I think there's a, a drop down that says, you know, who, your re who is your representative? Where do you live? So you can find your representative. Generally, the websites are like mine is holland.house.gov. So your, uh, your congressperson would be whatever their last name is, .house.gov. And uh, go on their website, find the contact information, call the offices now so that you can get in early before their uh, schedules get really packed. Uh, if you'd like to see the congressperson uh, in a meeting at their office here in Washington, D.C., um, I would call soon and, uh, and let them know that you'll be here. And uh, they'll ask some questions about what you want to discuss. So, so uh, the scheduler will ask you, what do you want to meet about? So have your, um, you know, have your, your talking points down so that you can answer all those questions. I don't think it's too early. Now they might tell you, look, you know, the meeting's subject to change because we don't have our 2020 calendar yet, but um, I think you're better off asking them to hold the time uh, that you are a native youth representing, you know, one of, of uh, any number of Indian tribes in your state and mm -hmm. that um, it's important that you are able to make the connection. So you generally go through your congressperson for, <coughs> excuse me, for any tickets to the White House or, um, you know, if you wanted a tour of even the Capitol building, there again, you would contact your congressperson's office and the, um, the staff assistant likely will be the one to help you uh, schedule those. We have a beautiful new statue of Chief Standing Bear from the Ponca tribe. It's and, in the capital. And, and he's significant because... <coughs> <coughs> because of the lawsuit. He, he essentially, it was a habeas corpus um, lawsuit. It went to the Supreme Court and he was able to prove that um, Native Americans are people, yes. believe it or not. And um, so he, he uh, fought hard for his tribe. His son uh, wanted to be buried, I believe, in his homeland, and he was prevented from doing so. Mm -hmm. So Chief, Chief Standing Bear uh, fought that in court and won. You guys should definitely have a resume. You should be writing down everything you're participating in, your jobs, uh, how long you've been there, who your supervisors were, uh, and also every you know, unity conference. If you have any leadership positions in, in, in any clubs or caucuses or anything to do with the uh, unity conference, you should, mm -hmm. that should go on your resume. You know, don't put, you know, don't put a bunch of stuff on there that's not relevant, but they want to know uh, that you're active in the community. A anything that would help you, um, you know, show that you're interested and that a, an internship would help you uh, with your future plans would be great. Um, if you're in college, I would check with your college to see if there are internship programs, um, because there are some. There are specific internship programs that will help you come to Washington, D.C. and work in a congressional office. And, um, and you should also uh, check with your tribe, you should mm -hmm. check with your school, mm -hmm. 
Um, uh, but uh, and you should check with individual members of Congress. Mm -hmm. We uh, we uh, have a line item with our within our office budget uh, that will pay for interns for specifically for my office and um, each each congressional office if they choose to do that that's up to them uh, I'm not saying it's the same for every office but you should check always check with your congressperson and you can call them uh, also at the district office that's in the state where you live okay. you and you guys keep up the great work too do well in school you're our future we need you to do well in school and we need you to fight for the good stuff, our environment and health care and things like that. Yes, okay. Thank good you. Good work. Thank you, Thanks. Congresswoman Holland. We'll see ya. Thanks.